I made a video recently on how to create cripple animations in DaVinci Resolve, but uh, the process was kind of uh, lengthy and there was a comment I got on my video, which is by uh, Lumish, Lumisho, I don't know how to pronounce the name, uh, but you can go over and check out his channel. So he said that you can use paint node for better ease and result. And I had no idea that uh, paint node would be quite simple. Uh, so I tried it and this proved to be an even better way of doing this kind of animation. So let me just show you if we head over to the, the, the DaVinci Resolve and over here I have just a footage and let me just show you the preview of what I came up with. So the same thing that I did in the previous video but this time just only by using one node which is the paint node. So uh, just go ahead and drag in your Compos your footage basically or your fusion composition if you like and let me just resize this so head over to the fusion composition while you have that selected your footage selected and over here all you need to do is just make sure you have this media in selected and just click on this paint and once you do that this will automatically add your paint to your media in connected with uh, the media in basically. And here what you can do is go over to the brush controls. And here select this one, circular, and just decrease the size a bit. You can just go over to, let's say, uh, 0 0.014. This is what worked for me. So you can change the color from here as well. That's up to you, but I'm just keeping it white. And then there is the option for stroke controls. But if you select this, stroke option from here this will give you some option for stroke animation so here you can select this for all frames or you can do it for a limited duration but right now i want to do this for all frames so let's just go ahead and start drawing so over here make sure you have this selected and let's just go ahead and create this or let me just do it a little bit better okay so i have this line highlighting this bird and if you select this modifiers over here, this will give you the option for your, basically your stroke or your line that you created. And let me just do this again. So select paint once again, go over to modifiers. And here you will see two strokes. So stroke one, stroke two. So you can see which one is yours. So this one, the stroke one is the one that we're going to use. Let me just delete this one. And if you go over here, there are different options. You can once again change the brush size so right now at 0 0.0014 this is okay you can also change the brush shape but i'm just going to keep this as it is now and again same settings that you can change basically but if you go over here and in the stroke controls you will be able to change the write on so let me just show you how this works so for example let's say over here i want this to animate so over here at 50 frames, I'm just going to create this keyframe at right on. And then at uh, the beginning, I'm just going to change this to zero. And if you play this, here you will see we get the animation done. And you can always go over to spline and select your keyframes. So this one is the stroke one. So select all of these and press S and this will ease them in. And let me just make this more curved. And if you play this now, this is how it will look. And what you can do is you can also do the scribble animation that I did in the previous video, which is that this line starts shaking as well. So what you can do is go over here at angle in the under the stroke controls, right click and then select modify width, and then you will get the option for shake. Just select that and you will be taken to the modifiers tab where what you can do is just set the maximum to 10. And what this will do is this will start giving you that scribble animation basically. And you can once again adjust this accordingly. So let me just change the smoothness to five and let's see that. So you will see we get this animation, but that's up to you how you want this to be. You can again see at which point this suits you. So let me just change this to five as well. So let's see. Okay, and let's just change this to one. So this will 
be a more rapid shake so let's just keep this at five or let's say three so this looks okay so here you can see we are getting our scribble animation and once again you can add multiple elements using the same node so you can select this make sure that this one stroke is selected and once you do that uh, this will create another stroke for you so basically if you go over here here you will see we have the stroke two, which is this one or what you can do is uh, let's just create an even better one so let me just delete these so if you just select your paint again select the stroke and then do something like this i guess and over here you will be able to once again change these settings but right now i'm just going to set the right on over here and if this is not selected so make sure that you know which uh, node this is or which element this is so this is basically stroke 2 so let's delete this one and go over to stroke 2 and then create this right on all right this looks okay and now you can go once again to angle right click modify width and then shake and then head over to this okay let's just select this again all right so this is not uh, working you need to do this again if this is not working just do this again so make sure that we have this stroke to the shake on stroke to angle make sure that you know the name of the node and let's just change this to five and max to ten and you will see we're getting that animation over here as well in this one so this is how you can create scribble animations by using the paint node in fusion i hope this video was helpful and i'll see you in the next one